Hello and welcome to part six of this video. Uh, on this video, we're gonna talk about how we can deserialize the webhook from Shopify. I'm gonna close all this and install the application. I'm gonna install it. It will show us a error page because we don't have anything yet. We're not there yet. So, but the main thing is that uh, we wanna know when the stores goes into the delete option and removes your your application so that's what we're gonna cover on this video so I'm trying to keep it really quick so save you time and click in this case we're gonna click delete and then it should hit the uninstall action on our controller so I'm gonna click delete and as you can see we got our call from uh, Shopify now we're gonna process the whole JSON and we're gonna see how we can pull the specific data that we're looking for so as you can see here I open a connection to the database which is I have here on this test store so what I'm gonna do here is deserialize using the dynamic keyword and use the this ver this variable that is passing uh, I think something went wrong or do I need to click continue again uh, I'm gonna try it here okay that's strange okay now I have got that JSON uh, now I need the domain uh, what's going on continue I want the domain so as you can see I have uh, I make my shirt that my shopify.com that's the domain I'm looking for because I want to know who exactly deleted uh, my app and I need to know so I can go and delete it in my database. So here I'm doing it again. There's another variable uh, instead of just domain. There's another variable called my Shopify domain. So I'm double checking here that it's the same thing, just confirming it. And as you can see here, uh, the if statement is just checking for the domain in the my Shopify domain. There's two on the JSON, and I'm just double checking that information. And here I'm gonna go find it. Do I have that shop? Yes. Uh, click uh, continue. I do have that shop, so that means that I need to go update. So as you can see here, I'm gonna remove the token because it's not good anymore. And I'm gonna add the uninstall date when it, when it happened and save it. That's all I'm, what I'm gonna be doing and click continue. And then for some reason, I'm getting a double call from Shopify. As you can see, it hit again. That might be because I'm not responding fast enough, or my VC Studio is going crazy. But as you can see, uh, in production, the best way to handle the uninstall is that you process the uninstall logic on your side on a different thread and make sure you respond really quick with a 200. If not, uh, I think Shopify will just remove that webhook if you're not responding fast enough. But right now for this demo, we just, we just did it like this. So just a quick overview. It's really simple. Get the JSON, use the dynamic object and pull this. This is how you do it. Uh, JSON dot domain and then say to string and that's all you need if you want to be extra careful you can uh, check my Shopify underscore domain that's another uh, value from the JSON and that guarantees or that tells you exactly what shop remove your web application and then you can do your own logic uh, saying when was an uninstall remove the token and other things that you might need. So make sure, uh, obviously you need to have your tunnel open. So make sure <coughs> that you check who exactly is the store before you go ahead and delete it. As you can see here, I got the shop. I don't have any token anymore and they took it off on 1031. As you can see, we install it on 1025, remove it on 1031. So I'll post this code in the GitHub um, 
spot that I that I that I'm saving all this uh, code, this source code, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.